I didn't clean my hands with your bum ass. All your hoes is fans with they bum ass. Yo, hello, it's Reva here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys the five best effects to use for your text in uh, After Effects. So, I will start by showing you guys how the effect look like, and uh, in the ending, I will show you guys how you can use them all together. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, the first thing you're going to do is to make a text layer, and uh, yeah. I'm going to apply the first effect, which is called Deep Glow. So this is basi basically how the effect looks like. And yeah, you can choose some settings here, smooth blending, uh, some blending modes here, uh, screen and add, increase the exposure, the radius. And uh, one good setting here uh, is called Unmalt. And it says here required for text. This basically makes the text transparent so you can uh, have something behind it. Otherwise, if you have this unchecked, the, uh, you will have a bla black background uh, from this effect. That's the first effect. Moving on to the second one. Okay, so the second effect I'm going to be showing you guys is called Warp. And this effect, you can do a lot of things here. As you guys can see, the default settings just makes this bending. And you can change here the warp style to maybe waves, maybe fisheye, which is my personal uh, favorite. Twist. Yeah, you guys get the point. It's a pretty, pretty good effect because you can do a lot of things with it. And yeah. Moving on to the third effect. Okay, so the third effect I'm going to be showing you guys is called Glint. And this effect looks insanely clean in my opinion. But yeah, in this case we have to, you know, change up the settings a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that. So yeah, something like this. This effect just add a little, a little you know, extra touch to your text here. And I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Moving on to the fourth effect. So the fourth effect I'm going to be showing you guys is called the uh, BCC LED. So yeah, this is how it looks like. And uh, I'd usually like to decrease the LED uh, size to about one. So it looks something li like this. Looks a little bit more realistic now. LED shape to square. You can also tint it here to preferred color. You could also add some glow here to your text. But I don't think this glow is good at all, to be honest. You're better off adding a, a, another glow effect to your to your text instead. But yeah, this is basically the third effect, which I think looks pretty, pretty cool. But yeah. Moving on to the final effect. Okay, so the final effect we're going to add is called directional blur. I think this looks pretty, pretty clean to your text. Press Ctrl D on the text to duplicate it, and then you delete the directional blur effect on the uh, on the layer above. So you get something like this instead. Then you can adjust the angle or whatever you want, or increase the, the blur length. For example, I really, really like this effect here. It looks insanely clean when you do this, and uh, yeah, I do a lot of things with it. But yeah, that was the final effect, and uh, now I'm going to show you guys how you could use all these effects together. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to do is to duplicate this layer. So you press Ctrl D, and for the text layer below, we're going to add Edge Detect. I know this effect wasn't in the list, but uh, but it will just make it a lot easier to do this effect I'm going to show you guys. So the settings we're going to be using is uh, the edge move is going to be zero. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that should be good. This is how it looks like. And now we're going to move this uh, text layer below down by pressing the arrow key down. Uh, so you press it six times down. One, two, three, four, five, six. That looks good. Then we duplicate the layer again. Control D, drag it down and then go uh, six down again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the last time. One, two, three, four, five, six. That looks good. Now we get a 3D text here. Okay, so now we're going to duplicate the main text. So you press Ctrl D. And then you drag it down. And here we are going to add BCC LED. And change the settings to 1 here. And then add a deep glow. Increase the exposure to 1.76. And that should be good. And to make the glow more in a straight line, we're going to add a adjustment layer. So Control Alt Y. And then here we're going to add directional blur. And the settings we're going to use here is blur length is going to be 500. So now you get something like this. And now we're going to fix the main text. So we're going to add BCC LED again. 
change the lead size x to 1 and then we are going to add the deep flow to this and from here increase the exposure to 2 add the smooth blending and the check on malt so now it looks something like this and the next effect we're going to add here is glint so you press ctrl alt y and then we add glint this is sapphire glint so it's a little bit different compared to the one i showed you guys before but uh, it looks better in this case uh, so the brightness here are going to be 0 0.05 and then we're going to increase the threshold to 0 0.92 and we are going to decrease the threshold blur to 0 and then increase the size to 616 and yeah that should be good and now we're going to change the background text uh, blending mode to add so now it looks something like this and now we're going to pre-comp all of this right click pre-compose and name it text and here we're going to add the last effects so the second last effect we're going to add is called warp I should show you guys before and uh, for the settings here we're going to change the warp style to squeeze and then change the bend to a minus 16 the horizontal distortion to 26 and then the vertical distortion to 83 something like that i thought this looked pretty good just for the finishing touch here we're going to change the color so you can press ctrl alt y and then add four color gradient and choose a lighter blue here and then copy it to all the others blending mode to color so yeah, now you get a text that looks something like this. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty clean. And uh, if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. And uh, uh, please follow me on Instagram uh, and Twitter. Like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day.